I'm going to introduce you if you could do the, the your uh, I I have I have you have your own yeah yeah you prefer your own uh, yes <laughs> okay okay no problem oh, no problem <laughs> Shang Tsung. Johnny Cage. Estamos en el Hotel Aspen Towers, a metros de la 9 de julio, en la capital federal de la República Argentina. Estamos con el señor Daniel Pesina, eh, actor y artista marcial. Y si no le suena ese nombre, tal vez le suene esto. Get over here. Get over here. Uh, tell me about uh, the love of the fans. I saw you uh, on Sunday and Retro Star Turbo, and it was crazy. The unconditional love of your fans. And tell me about it. Uh, After 20 something years, the game was released, the first game. Is it crazy? What do you think? Uh, not too crazy, but more, uh, more amazing. Like I didn't realize that so many people were gonna, going to make, their, make time of their day and come to the event. Yeah. Uh, so it was uh, very surprising to see, uh, you know, see so many people. Uh, a lot of the people, uh, not a lot, but some people are my Facebook friends. To be treated basically like a rock star, that was, that was fun. After Mortal Kombat 2 was released in 1993, so for a couple of years we were very popular. We, were, we went to several autograph sessions and tournaments where we signed autographs, so I was used to that. Then, you know, because I didn't participate in the uh, following games, And because after a while they didn't use real people, for, yeah. so the popularity of us mm -hmm. died down. But then Facebook brought our our popularity back, internet. and so yeah, and internet in general. But po Once, yes, yeah. so the last five years and really the last three years, I've the popularity has really resurrected for me, and so I I expected some. Some, uh, um, some love, but not, some love, but not, not as much as uh, yeah. I did at the convention. It was, it, it was a great experience. One time I, I posted a picture of my mom wearing sunglasses <laughs> with, with me, yeah. and I got like 500 likes. <laughs> it was very, very amazing, and a lot of them were from my friends in yeah. Argentina. Yeah. I was talking to a friend of mine before coming here and do this interview, and when he realized, when he realized who you are, he told me, Watch out, because this man, he can break your nuts with his fist. <laughs> um, actually, did you, ever, did you ever do that move in real life? Um, actually, I, to put it in the game, it's all video, so I had to do it uh, probably at least uh, the splits a dozen times yeah. in different ways for us to tape the actual split. Yeah. And two, uh, we didn't, uh, since the technology was... Uh, very poor at the time for yeah. that type of thing. And two, the camera belonged to John Tobias's father, so yeah. it wasn't even really the studio's camera. It was oh. a home camera. Yeah. So in order to do a lot of the moves, we had to do everything in slow motion. So uh, I, I posted on YouTube one time of me doing it live, and I think it, people now uh, download it and use it all the yeah. time. So it has like a, man, 100,000 hits or something crazy <laughs> like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, how did you get into the game? And what were you doing at that time in your life? When I finished my school, I came back to the Chicago area, and one day by chance, I ran into Ho Sung Pak again. Yeah. He told me, we were talking about the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle movies, yeah. but then he also mentioned this, the video game Mortal Kombat that he just filmed, and he said, oh, it's a cool game, you have to check it out, and Then he invited me to train with him and his friends, who happened to be Daniel and Tony and, and, and Richard and so forth. Daniel, in particular, yeah. introduced me to Ed Boone and John Tobias. And together, one day, they asked me, you know, we're going to film Mortal Kombat 2. We would like you to be in it. Do you want? And Daniel asked me, do you want to be young Shang Tsung? 
or the ninjas. And I said, mm, I don't want to be covered up. And you were the ninjas already in Mortal Kombat yeah. 1, so I'll be Young Shen Tsung. You, you want the people to see your face? Yeah, and my, and my cuerpo también. <laughs> my body. Okay. The group is uh, Chanto Baez, yeah. uh, my brother Carlos Pesina, yeah. Richard Divizio, uh, Tony Marquez, Kung Lao, Ho Sung yeah. Pak, uh, yeah. Liu Kang, yeah. Andy Kadalka. He drew the comic book. Yeah. Uh, at one time, you, you send the top of the box in to get a free comic book yeah. and pay for postage. Yeah. My, uh, my friend Andy and John Tobias, the creator of Mortal Kombat, they stayed up for like 36 hours straight painting. Okay. One would draw and the other one would color. Yeah. And they just did that. So uh, we used to always get together and play Dungeons and Dragons. Lo conoces? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah uh, muy antes que Mortal Kombat. Game. Um, Vienna antes before Mortal Kombat. Yeah. So um, eventually, uh, John, a few years later, maybe five years later, uh, after he finished college, he started uh, working for Midway Games, yeah. uh, Valley Midways. And uh, basically, he called me up and said, Hey, I have an idea for a game. You know, will you help me uh, come in, do some martial art moves, and then we're going to show it to my boss? And so I met with John, and he had these sketches of, of uh, already he had sketches of uh, characters, and he had he explained he had this idea of what the game was going to be, mm -hmm. and then he was going to so we were going to help him, uh, we call it pitch, to the to his boss, so that way his boss would hear the ideas and say yes or no. So uh, later on, I found that that boss was Ed Boon. Yeah, so we put together uh, videotape and uh, things like that uh, for Ed Boon, and Ed Boon uh, liked our ideas. Yeah. And so he was like, oh, okay. And the, our next step was uh, we met Ed, who was very quiet, um, uh, eating pizza because we love to eat pizza. Of course, <laughs> yes, yes. Mm -hmm. And we were, later on, we, uh, and we just finished shooting Ninja. Uh, mutant into turtles yeah, too so yeah, yeah. so this was soldier. yeah this is right uh so we met ed and we started all myself uh john richard and carlos started coming up with ideas for mortal Kombat. ed was very shy he didn't really say anything he would just listen to us kind of geeking out of what what we wanted to be in the game yeah. so you know then we took those ideas and we met one more time uh to to kind of get who would, who would be in the game. And I was like, uh, he's like, who do, you, who, who do you want for the game? Because it was going to be low budget. There was only going to be 200 cabinets. Ah. And that was it. 200, just? Just, they promised me 200. To the entire world? To the entire world, <laughs> 200. Okay. So, um, uh, so they were like, okay, who can we get? And I was like, oh, I can get, uh, you know, I could get my friend, our friend, because he knew Ho Sung. I was like, I could get Ho, Ho Sung, and I get Tony Marquez, and he's like, yeah, Tony would love this, because Tony is a ham. Yeah, Tony Lux loves to be in front of a camera, yeah. <laughs> really a lot. Yeah. So I arranged that, and he's like, okay, once we get started, we're going to need, you know, at the, originally, I think there were, there might have been nine or 12 characters drawn. Yeah. Yeah, so were there, there were quite a few. So we, uh, Ed took all of our, our ideas, and he... Uh, approached the owner of the business and said, hey, this is what we want to do next. And the owner looked at the ideas and he go, he just looked at the ideas and then he was like, oh, we should get Van Damme to do this video oh. game. And uh, so they were in negotiation with Van Damme and then uh, John told me, hey, we're going to get Van Damme to do the video game, sorry. I kind of felt bad because I gave them my ideas for the game. Like, you know, oh, the, yeah. the ninjas are... Uh, the ninjas are Chinese, uh, the Lin Kuei, because of uh, my ideas. Yeah. You know what I mean? And different ideas that we put together. And I didn't work, I don't work for Midway. Yeah. So I kind of was like, oh, they're going to take, you know. Yeah, I, I uh, that. Already, my idea is, you know, you said I was going to be in the game, now Van Damme's going to be in the game. But, you know, it's my friend, and I was just like, okay. Okay. You know, it's not going to be good. Because, you know, I love Van Damme, but yeah, uh, mainstream. Going to happen. Well, too, mainstream, his technique is more like kickboxing. Our background, I, you know, at the time I already did judo for six years, uh, jiu-jitsu for three, Japanese jiu-jitsu for three yeah. years, samurai jiu-jitsu for actual real combat, not sport, yeah. um, and uh, uh, kung fu for, for a while. So I already had a lot of martial art experience in different martial arts. Yeah. 
you know, as opposed to kickboxing is just kind of kickboxing. Uh, no, no offense, but you know, no, it's no. different. It's a sport. It's the sport is different than combat. So anyway, um, because the company is cheap, they don't like to spend money. <laughs> they did uh, the things with Van Dam did not go through. Yeah. And then John called me up and he, he was like, the game is canceled. We're not going to make the game. Oh. And then, uh, uh, our friend Rich Divizio is very, uh, when you, he, he'll, he kind of bugs you, gets on you yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> in a loving way, but he'll be like, and so he's like, man, we did this for you. You, you have to, we have to, why, do, why can't we just do the, what we were going to do before, before. Just, you know, just do it. Just yeah. do 200 games. That's it. Yeah. You know, so, you know, Rich bugging him and John and Ed meeting and deciding, hey, let's, uh, he goes, I'm going to go back and see if we could just do 200 games again. And so he went there and the guy was like, yeah, just do 200 games. So they said yes. And then we started shooting for the game. And tell me about the production. Was what was the hardest thing to do? The hardest thing to do, we, uh, because we're all friends. Yeah. Like really, we were all friends for a while. Yeah. Uh, at that point, a long time. The youngest friend was like five years. We known each other five years, so we would always goof around. So making the game wasn't really. Wasn't hard. It wasn't hard because it was. Fun. It was yeah, it was really fun. Really fun. Because we. Uh, we give, give each other shit. Yeah. yeah you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah. We would give each other shit during the, during, during the filming of the game. So, for example, Rich was like, you know what? I want to pull that, somebody's heart out. And then John's like, ooh, that's a good idea. Oh, that's nice. So, yeah, p reach in and pull his heart out. So, Rich is like, reach in, pull the heart out. And he looks at it and he goes like that. <laughs> Como, como manzana, like, con medio corazón. Yeah, and then uh, uh, John's like, dude, you can't do that. That's way too violent. <laughs> but not not that's anymore. Much. Yeah, that's too much. Uh, so uh, it's like, try it again, and then hold it up. So Rich went like this and held it up, and I was like, wow, it'd be really cool yeah. if you would. I, I told him it would be really cool if you would make it beat. Oh. oh! Kano wins. And so he was like, oh, I'm going to do that. So uh, so the, the game was created like that. Somebody would say something, and then somebody else would say something, and somebody else would yeah, say more. Were floating around. Yeah, so there was no really, oh, my, you have to do it my way, that's it. No, no, no. Because everybody, the programmers did the programming and helped with a little bit of ideas. The artists did the art. They didn't tell the programmers how to program. Yeah. Uh, the boss of it never told us anything. Yeah. You know, Ed Boon really never said anything to us. Mm -hmm. You know, he would just... He, uh, the first three filmings, he hardly, I, I didn't really know him because he never was there oh. when we were creating that filming part of the game, like the moves. Because oh, he's the he boss. Let you, he let you create. Yeah, he's the boss. He's got to look at the program, make sure the artist's on time, got to go talk to the boss. Yeah. You know what I mean? He's got yeah, that yeah. responsibility. His, his responsibility is not, uh, 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 that part of the creation is not his responsibility. Yeah. So what was really hard what was the most disappointing part of the game is showing up to film and they're like john's like okay we're gonna go over in this room and film and we open the door of the room and it's just filled with junk no. yeah old chairs old desk yeah. you know old lamps just some old video games all over so we spent about two hours trying to clear a space yeah. to film that was, uh, that was the hardest part. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> you know, physically, there was, uh, we learned as we went, you know, uh, Johnny Cage was a, is the father of all characters. Everything, uh, anything you see comes out of Johnny Cage. So we just started, he just started, okay, uh, we need a punch, high punch. And so I would start, okay, you go, I'll go slower. So do a punch like this, do a punch like this, do a punch like this, yeah. try a palm like this, try a poke to the eye, and we'd go, just go through, oh, can you, uh, you know, can you see this, this strike like this? And so we just started, oh, like this. So we, uh, John and I eventually figured out what would, what were, would work and what would not, because two, it's two dimensional. Yeah. So we realized that a front kick and an ax kick look the same. Yeah. And a side kick and a roundhouse kick you know, if I go like this or I go like this in 2D, it looks the same. Yeah, looks the same. So we were like, okay, well, we just kind of learned as we went. So originally Johnny Cage shot for about uh, three days. Yeah, three days. Before even we started because later on when we looked at it, we realized like, oh, when you draw a kick and you don't go in the exact place, you look, if you're closer to the camera, you look bigger. Yeah. If you're further away, you look smaller. 
He's just like, none of that, none of what we shot worked no. when he went to, to, to look at work on it. Yeah. He was like, we got to shoot all over. All over again. Yeah. All over again. And I'm like, crap, okay. And he goes, he would be like, okay, we're going to shoot, but first let me erase the tape. Yeah. Because they were so cheap, we only used one tape. And we would just erase whatever we had on it and try to use the same tape. Oh, no. <laughs> so a lot of the hist original history is gone. Um, okay, so tell me about uh, when the home versions of the game uh, reached the shelves, you know, uh, a lot of, uh, there was a apparent concern about the violence of this game. This was a brutal game at the, for the time, you know, you, because you have a Street Fighter, you know, but Street Fighter is a cartoonish style game where you knock down people. And here you have a new game with real people dying every fight. So what, what do you think at the time? Did you think it was too much? Maybe not. Uh, what, and what do you think about violence in, in video games in general? Originally, we were only going to make 200 arcade cabinets. Yeah. And uh, being in arcade, usually as an older child, yeah. maybe 14, 15, and you're, if you're younger, you're with your parents. Yeah. So uh, as far as like uh, the violence in the game, we created it for a certain age. You know, then the owners not only didn't do 200 cabinets, they did way more cabinets. And then they also, without a, you know, they sold it to somebody to make home cartridges. So we weren't really, it was never designed for that. Even though kids love it, yeah. it wasn't designed for that. Being a medical doctor, I, I did some research yeah. on this. And the violence that you can copy, like shooting games, like Call of Duty and, uh, and so forth, those games actually can produce, can, people can copy and go and kill other people. Yeah. And, but fighting games, for the most part, you could only copy the punching and kicking, which, you know, you could watch boxing or you could watch... UFC or anything or movies and do the same it's it or even in training if you you know even though martial arts is supposed to be for self defense you could use it badly and and go go fight but outside of that even though the graphics makes it look very bad yeah. you can't i mean you can't pull out somebody's heart no, you can't no. pull out <laughs> pull out someone yes spine. you can't punch someone's head off so For the most part, it's it's like watching a, a, a gory movie that you can't. Yes, it's shocking, it, but it's fantasy exactly. It's not, and as long as people realize that, then and and it's got a mature rating for for that reason too. Although video games is not as I guess uh, obvious about ratings or people don't recognize ratings about video games as much as like they do movies and so forth but but still as long as you realize the the nature of the violence is fantasy and not reality you know then that's okay i i like the fact that you can't go out there and and reproduce the fatalities the the more uh, yeah no you can't <laughs> i mean well i can't i have I have not stolen anyone's soul. No. <laughs> I'm Hispanic. My mom and my mother and father are from Mexico, yeah. naturalized to the United States. Um, but you know, I know the difference. Even me, as a martial artist, I know the difference between right and wrong, yeah. and and how to uh, uh, that the violence on a video game or the violence in a movie is not real. Yeah. You know, if you your if parents are active in their child's life then they will know that that is not real. Yeah. You know, y, y, si ellos ven la película, se va, uh, si no tienen, uh, for lack of word, uh, good parents, yeah. for, uh, then they're going to be violent. Yeah. So it isn't really the video game, it's the parenting. Of course, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I know if I did, even if I hit my brother, my mom would, la cinta. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, I know One I mean. or two times, and then I know, That's don't it. hit my brother. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you know, know what I mean? I yeah. Know. Tell me about the conflict you have between Mortal Kombat 2 and Mortal Kombat 3. I read on yeah. the internet, I don't know if it's true, you can tell me. Uh, for example, that you promote another game dressed as Johnny Cage. Is that true? Um, at the time, during... During, uh, uh, during the filming of Mortal Kombat 2, because the way we filmed, we and the way we created the game, yeah. like uh, 
uh, we would often people would come by the to watch us work because it wasn't just martial arts. We wouldn't be we'd make fun of each other. We'd joke, you know. Would somebody come in, uh, you know, because even 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 all of us as a group, when somebody come in, we always shake their hand or say what's up. Or even if we're doing stuff, we make fun of them. You know what I mean? Yeah. We're, they're standing in the corner, and then we say, hey, we see you over there. Why don't you go back to work? You know, <laughs> just goofing yeah. around. Yeah. So people would like to come in and watch us. Yeah. So one of the guys who was stopped by, I think his name was Mark, uh, artist for, helped John Vogel with the backgrounds. One, uh, one day I come in, they're like, hey, can you come in, look at the game, see how it's going, see what you're, you want to change or anything like that? So I show up because, again, I don't work for Midway. And uh, he's like, hey, by the, uh, Ed told me, by the way, remember that guy, Mark, who used to stop by and watch us? You know, you always used to tease him and stuff like that. He's like, man, that guy really likes you. And he's got a new job. You know, he's the head artist at a company. And he wants to know if you'll help him and, and uh, do some pr promote this game. And then John is like, yeah, he wants you to, you know, he wants you to dress up like Johnny Cage, but you can't, you are Johnny Cage, but you can't wear the exact costume, but you yeah. could almost wear the costume almost. because they can't really say anything. Yeah. And he goes, and you know, we used your actual videotape for your image and, and they don't own the right to that. So you can do what you want. Yeah. And then Ed told me, he goes, don't, and don't worry, they have a lot of money. I'll, I'll make sure they pay you a lot. So when I went to do Bloodstorm, that's actually a Blood family. Um, yeah, when I went to help Bloodstorm, that's actually a, a Mortal Kombat family member. Yeah, yeah. I think later on, when uh, the bigger issue of, of you know, originally they <coughs> they told me that there's going to be 200 cabinets, yeah. and then there's going to be more, and then you know, John and Ed said, "Don't worry, we're going to take care of you. Those guys are going to take care of you. Just keep working. They're going to eventually, you know, because the game was small, we didn't get paid a lot." So they're going to take care of you. And then when it went to the home game, they were going to take care of you. And then we're going to shoot a number two. Don't worry, they're going to take care of you. And then, and then I got the feeling, well, one day they were like, hey, can you come in and we're going to take pictures of you for that way we can sell hats and we're going to sell dolls and we're going to sell that stuff. And I was like, okay, cool. And then uh, eventually I was like, yeah, when are they going to take care of me? Yeah. You know? <clears throat> and I think uh, uh, judging by what, the, what I hear and what I think is, Later on, uh, their, their press put out uh, a negative against me, saying like, oh, he got kicked off Bloodstorm because of, uh, Mortal Kombat because of Bloodstorm. No, yeah. uh, I didn't get kicked out of Mortal the, Kombat. Yeah, I stopped because they were not going to pay me. Okay. For, for, you know, we had agreed with this, but I could see them making a lot of money. Now they can pay me, right? Uh -huh. It just makes sense, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, uh, but I think I feel that the people who weren't really there for the creation or maybe created a little bit of Mortal yeah. Kombat, they wanted to take the, all the credit and all the money. All the cake, yeah. Yeah, the whole cake. And they were in the position to do that, so they did that. Oh. So, yeah. Money. Yeah. Money drugs. So my drugs suggestion to your fans is love your friends. You can trust your friends, but when it comes to business, seek a lawyer. Get some, <laughs> make sure it's a good contract. Make because sure. our, our contract just says, our, our contract is like this big. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's yeah. very small. Very and small for that big game. <laughs> yeah, for that big game. It's like, oh, we're only going to make arcade games. Yeah. And it went to home and it went home, merchandising. Super Nintendo Genesis game yeah, and merchandising and things like that. I see my picture on the internet all the time yeah. on t shirts and stuff like that. And they're making you money. You are the guy at, yeah. uh, at the arcade. And, yeah. And the, yeah. the art of the arcade. Yeah. You are that guy. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, that, that part is, mm -hmm. you know, it's not up. It's not always up to your friends to make sure you get, you know, it's up to whoever hires them in the end who feels like they own it. Philip went upstairs because he, he gets tired of hearing this story. <laughs> but, oh, he's bored. Oh, you're on the internet. Oh, I'll stand it in there. Stop it. He's, okay. he's got a lot of chicas for fans now. Oh, oh. he loves to dance. Oh. I, saw, I saw you dancing on, on Sunday with a female Raiden.
I yes. saw you dancing. Yes. What, he, what? he broke her heart already. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, Only Kano could steal hearts. Yeah. No, no, you broke her heart. <laughs> Yo, you, you steal souls. <laughs> yes. Yeah, he's already on to a different one. <laughs> oh. oh. You're, you're a really good dancer. You're really good. What was that? Bachata. Bachata, yeah. Yeah. I'm okay. Pretty good, pretty he good. He's actually really good. Yeah, you are. Yeah. But yeah. now you see, that's how we, when filming, that's how we were. Mm -hmm. You know something, something about the newer games? Did you play them? Uh, you like them? You, you prefer the old ones? Um, I prefer shooter games. Shooter games? Halo, Overwatch. Oh, I tell, like stuff like Tell me about that. Uh, no, I just... Do you play? I, I, I play a little bit. I'm not very good, I, but I do. Before, I used to play a, a lot more than recently. Uh, because of uh, teaching and, uh, and the new, uh, and, uh, the, the game has become popular again. Yeah. Uh, over the last, uh, you know, as you know, it's over 20 years old. A lot of the people. 24, yeah. Yeah, a lot of the people who yeah, play. There's a, there's a big com a retro community yeah, that it, brings the game back to life. Yeah, because they played with their friends when they were little. So when they, so now, and because we were really real people making it, when they see us, it reminds of, of uh, their childhood. Yeah, their childhood, yeah. and they, you know, a lot of times I'm meeting a uh, lot, lot of friends who are like, oh, I played with, you know, I played with my brother, and on Sunday night, I get my whole family, I play with my wife, and I play with my children, we all play Mortal Kombat. Sure. And I'm like, holy cow. Holy cow. And they're, yeah, and they're like, oh. And, there's and, there's some impact in their life. Yeah, and two, the, uh, the face, they know me. Or they think they know me. You're like, oh, Johnny yeah, oh, ma uh, maestro, you know, yeah. yeah, yeah, you're, you know, and they, uh, you know, give them a hug and stuff like that because they, you know, I was in their home, yeah. even though I was in their home, but they felt like I was with them. Oh, you cool. know, a lot of stories about that, a lot of a, stories. You were in a lot of homes across the world. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> <That's right. laughs> more than Philip. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 uh, you know, uh, one time a uh, fan told Philip that, you know, he, uh, he, when he saw Philip, he, he hugged him and he was like, man, I used to play Mortal Kombat with my brother. And he, and he was like teary-eyed. And that was you, right, Philip? He was kind of teary-eyed because he was like, my brother died. But, you know, when I see you, it makes me happy. Uh -huh. Because the best times were when we were playing, playing, we were playing Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat yeah, triste. Yeah, tr bien triste. But it was so he's like, man, to see you live, everything comes back. And he goes, man, I'm really happy. You know, you were a big part of my life. Of course, because games are for fun. Yeah, that, yeah, that's yeah. The main yeah. Or escape. Yeah, and escape. They're escape from. Yeah, the real yeah, life. I, yeah, yeah. I have people and saying the that. And the you know, yeah. When you know, when my mom and dad used to argue, me and my brother would go in the basement and play Mortal Kombat. You know, you helped me through that stage, and I was like, I didn't really help you, but I appreciate it. I appreciate it. You know, it. yeah, sure. yeah. So. Okay, uh, this is my my final question, and uh, you have to choose choose a fighter. I'm not going to say Johnny Cage because you are Johnny Cage. We, yeah. we, we see you. Raiden, Raiden is my favorite fighter. Oh, yeah. Raiden is your favorite? Yeah. Why? Tell me why. Um, what's, I, what's that what you like, that you like about I it? think during the, the making of Mortal Kombat, when we were getting together ideas for that, you know, we got Raiden from Big Trouble in Little China, and we really, really loved that that movie. Ah, oh, I remember. Yeah, the, so, yeah, the, with the, the hat. Yeah, the guy yeah. The yeah. had the Yeah, so he was really... You know, he was, too, Kurt he was, a, movie. yeah, yeah, so he was a uh, um, big fan of Kurt Russell, but yeah. Outstanding. Uh, he really depicted, like, everyone in the game, you know what I mean? He was, like, the, the guy who brought everyone together to do this, to do this fight, so I always like Raiden. And I was, I was going to ask between Scorpion and Sub-Zero, but could, could, you, could you pick one? Uh, for me, Scorpion and Sub-Zero are, are the same. Same. Because uh, we, we shot them at the same same time, I didn't change anything. Yeah, you changed so all the I did, they would just oh, digitally. Yeah, uh, yeah, they would just be like, okay, we need a fighting stance. So I did a fighting stance, and they're like, remember that fighting stance because now you got to do a different fighting stance, but it has to be close because we're just gonna add new moves. Yeah. So when I filmed uh, 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 Scorpion, yeah. they were it was Sub Zero, and, and you know at the time we were filming, they were brothers yeah. blood brothers ah. uh, um, uh, that's the original story is there blood story. blood really blood brothers one turned bad and it changed when carlos heard that he's like hey bro brothers never fight because my our mind would kick our ass <laughs> and then john was like oh come on okay they're not blood brothers they're kung fu brothers, they're kung fu brothers. 
So even then, what, what, now they're, one is Japanese, but when we're, the original story is both are Chinese ah. and from the same clan. They're not from, now there's one from a different, you know, Hollywood and uh, Hollywood's come in. We're on like the ninth version of Mortal Kombat. Yeah. So a lot of people think that like, oh, one is Japanese. No, that's not original. Huh. That's already, you're already copying a copy of a copy of a copy. Okay, sure. You know what I mean? When you see the movie, it's a copy of, when you see the guy Kano in a movie, he's trying to act like Richard DiVizio, yeah. which is I think it's a copy of a copy already. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. I think it's pretty I funny understand. because when I uh, it's difficult for me to watch the movie because I'm like, Raiden doesn't act like that, <laughs> or Shang Tsung does that. That's not Shang Tsung. That's he not never he would never do that because I know Shang Tsung. I was there when he filmed them great and d did all the movements. That's not his personality. Yeah. You know, I'm just like, uh, okay, well. So uh, the ninjas for me are again the same. And then later on, they were like, hey, we don't have time to do more characters. Can you come in and do? Uh, uh, Ed wants to do a character called Reptile. He made a character called Reptile. So when I showed up to shoot Reptile, I was going to do a few moves, and then, and then they would be like, okay, we need a special move for Reptile. You know, we need a couple of special moves. And Ed was like, oh, I want you to do this. And I was like, okay, we could do that. Yeah. And then you, I want to do this. I was like, no, I, mean, I, th I, I think I want to do this. So uh, because in my childhood, I watched Amazing Spider-Man. Yeah. And one time he was fighting a guy who turned into a reptile. Yeah. And then he spit at Spider-Man. And Spider-Man would jump around. And I was like, reptiles should spit like an Amazing Spider-Man. Yeah, like an ama Amazing Spider-Man. And John was like, oh, I remember that. That was really cool. So we talk about that for 10 minutes. And they would be like, oh, okay, we got to go back to filming. Yeah, let's film reptile spitting. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so and then that's the, the way things were like created. We kind of like our childhood. So when I, I, I think of the ninjas, I think of them this, the same. They are the same. For you, Scorpion and Subsidy. And you don't get that on the internet. You get that from the... Yeah. From Daniel Piscina. Yeah. Well, yeah, I was there. I should know. <laughs> was there. Well, Daniel, thank you very much for this interview. Thank you a lot. Okay, thank you. This is what's all lost, right? This original costume? Yeah, when they sold the rights to Warner Brothers, yeah. all the, all the, any of the costumes they had, they threw them in the garbage. No. Yes. Why did you all do All the original costumes, not me. Boom. Whoa. Yeah. yeah Why? Carlos come in and tell because us that they threw them all out. He don't care. You know? He, uh, he didn't. So you don't know where they are? They are no, they're, they're gone. gone for sure. They're, they're gone for they sure. They put them in the dumpster and they're gone. Oh, they're that's... Gone. That's uh, when they sold it to Warner Brothers. I don't understand the, the legal term of that. I mean, I don't, why, would you, why, would you, why would you do that? I don't know. Porque no, no, el, yo creo porque no lo creo y no está en su corazón. Ah. De, el siempre dicen el, cre, el creo el juego, sí. no más ah. era el jefe. Si usted tiene un jefe y haces algo bien bueno, El gar el crédito. Yes. Y si usted hace algo mal, él te corta. Yes. Y el, el boom es así. El uh, no, de veras, maybe 3% of the game, game he created. Yeah. Yeah. So, but you know what? He's in charge, so he. Yeah, yeah. He's on the TV or the interviews all the time, but he really didn't create hardly any, very little. Oh. Combat. Another urban legend. <laughs> <laughs> and Pablo. Excellent.